This surveillance footage obtained by Love News shows a black SUV traveling at high speed attempting to turn into a lane of the George Price Highway. The driver is unsuccessful in his attempt to evade the cops and the vehicle ends up in a nearby drain in the vicinity of Mile 2. Within minutes, the occupants exited the vehicle and moments later, they were met by police officers who were in pursuit. One eyewitness spoke to Love News saying he was alerted when he heard a loud bang. I was in my in my uh, home and then um, between um, 10.30 um, and definitely before 11, uh, I heard a loud bang outside my, my, my fence, my gate. Uh, when I came out, I saw a vehicle um, with the two rear wheels in the air in the drain. At first, the, the guys were a bit uh, hesitant, the drivers and, and the, the three occupants. And um, thereafter, um, I guess, after all, the, uh, the other police um, came as backup. Um, that's when they eventually came out. And um, the guy, one of the four guys was being a little um, belligerent. And belligerent he was. In this video, filmed by a passerby, this man is heard hurling expletives at the police, refusing to comply with the officers and shouting that he is clean and has nothing illegal on him. A futile attempt by his friends was made to calm him down, telling him to relax. As the officers proceed to search the men who at this time were still on the ground, another spectator attempts to get closer, but she is warned by one of the officers to get back. Mom, just stay far. You can't walk close. You can't hamper the progress. Seconds later, the man referred to as Papi continues his rant as he tells the officers to search the car because he needs to get to his child. The situation escalated even further when the handcuffed men were asked to stand up. Papi then begins to say that he has rights and then refers to the killing of Lali Gillit, saying he doesn't want to suffer that same fate. And within the blink of an eye, things got even more heated, particularly between one of the officers and Papi. The officer is seen punching the handcuffed man who was cursing and resisting as he is being shoved toward the police mobile. Two of the men are then flung into the pan of the truck. Another one is brought to the police mobile, consistently resisting and consistently being told to calm down. At this point, the police sergeant intervenes. The officer complied but not before punching the very vocal puppy as he sat in the back of the police truck. Up to this point, the police had displayed much restraint, that is, until one of the officers came and slapped the phone out of the hands of an onlooker who was recording the incident. They did a good job. I mean, they, they got here I mean, super quick and, and um, the support was definitely there. But, you know, I think professionally they could have handled it a little bit better. A little bit, you know. I can see they restrained themselves a little, but they have, uh, as usual, there's always one officer that seems to be over, overwhelmed or overzealous. I don't know what you want to call it, you know, and that was the one that you saw in the video that actually pushed the lady's camera away. And, you know, it, it was just uncalled for, in my opinion, you know, um, they were they were in their rights, I believe, you know, to video it. And, and, and you know, if not, you wouldn't even have known that this, that this thing actually happened. And in your opinion, do you think the persons that, um, well, the bystanders that were witnessing this this incident, do you think that they were hampering the, the, hampering the police in any way? Absolutely not. Uh, from my vantage point where I was watching the incident unfold, they were well in their distance to, 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 to not have the police um, confront them as a matter of fact, you know. Um, like I said, that is what I'm saying was uncalled for from that particular officer that was actually doing the, the beating on the guys, you know. Um, it was only one, if you notice in the video, it was only one cop doing, that, doing um, go, you know, go on like that. You know, it was only one. You know, the, the, the other officers were actually trying to restrain that officer to tell him, you know, to calm down. Our newsroom understands that the SUV was searched in the presence of one of the men and nothing incriminating or illegal was found. The Belize Police Department is yet to issue an official release or statement on the incident. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.